Hello and welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us today. We've really got a good show lined up for you and we're going to start with Arielle McConduit. She is with the Urban League. Dr. Allison Augustus Wallace is with Girl Scouts Louisiana East and she's going to be talking about the Girl Scout program and she's brought along some cookies. Uh, we always love having those on the show. Cheryl Lemoyne is with Renaissance Publishing and they've got a big event coming up that she's going to be talking about. Todd Murphy, President of the Jefferson Chamber of Commerce, always glad to have him on the show and they have their biggest event of the year coming up, uh, their uh, gala, and he's going to be talking about how you can get tickets for that. And good show lined up for you, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Very happy to have as our first guest, Arielle McConduit. Arielle is the Director of Parent Information Center for the Urban League of Greater New Orleans. And I gotta be honest with you, I just, the Urban League is just, a, it's a wonderful organization. Uh, we've had the Urban League on, uh, guys, so many times, and every time they're on, I learn more and more and more <laughs> about the Urban League. You guys are involved in so much stuff yeah. uh, around the city. Can you describe a little bit about uh, what your familiarity is with the Urban League and, and what they do? Yeah, so the Urban League has been in the community for over 75 years, um, and so we operate out of three centers of excellence. Um, the first is the Center of youth and um, education. Mm -hmm. The second one is the policy and social justice and the third is community and economic development. So we run like key programs out of each of those centers. Um, one is a, we have a women's business resource center that helps. Um, you don't have to be a woman but that's just the title of the program. <laughs> <laughs> so even but I could do it. You can come in. Okay. Um, so right. if you have an idea and you're looking to start your own business they can walk you through everything from writing a business plan to how to seek funding um, and they have a lot of classes that they offer throughout the year. Um, we also run a workforce um, development center so if you're looking to attain your GED or just get some soft skills training um, you can go through that center. Wow, awesome. We operate um, an early Head Start and Head Start Center in the Desire um, housing mm -hmm. community and then the Parent Information Center is a program that I run. That's well. incredible that, and, and look let's talk and so I get I guess it's the Parent Information Center that runs the school expo yes. right because so that's what I want to talk about mm -hmm. uh, that takes place on uh, Saturday February the 13th. Talk a little bit about that program and I read where last year you had 3,500 people come through this program? Yes, we did. That's so, incredible. Yeah, once a year, um, right before the deadline for applications for the One App, um, we mm -hmm. hold our school's expo, and this is our 10th year doing it. Um, and so this event has grown, of course, over the years. We used to hold it at UNO, um, but now we're on, last year we were on the field of the Superdome. Um, this year Holy we're still cow. at the Superdome, um, but we're going to be operating out of two of the club lounges. So it's the one event where you can literally come into the building and visit with every school in New Orleans, public, private, and Catholic schools. Um, and also we had last year over 100 community organizations, wow. and we will have those as well. So you can come, apply to schools on site, learn about all the community resources um, that your family can have mm -hmm. access to. But it's also a fun event um, for families. I would, so we, see that, yeah. yeah, we want families to bring their kids. Yeah. Um, we provide childcare on site that's run by our Early Head Start Center, mm -hmm. so there's licensed providers. Uh, we have performances by schools and organizations organizations, we have free food, free parking in yeah. garage sales. Sounds like you make it fun. Yeah, we want to because it's important that families, you know, receive the information. Absolutely. But then also, you know, if they're going to bring their kids and we want to try to make it like a family fun event also. Yeah. Um, and, and Ariel, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., yeah. correct? And this is your 10th year to do, to do the program. It is. It's our 10th year. And every year, you know, we think, well, maybe so many people won't come this year because they're happy with their schools. Right. But even families that are um, okay and they like the school that their child is in, they still can come, receive free backpacks, uniform that vouchers, awesome. school supplies. So everyone that, should come out that, to the event. That's absolutely phenomenal. Ariel, thank you so much for taking time to be on the show to talk thank about you. that. Uh, website is urbanleagueneworleans.org for all information on the Urban League. We have a few more guests, so stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. We have just a phenomenal guest right now because we love guests that bring in food for us to eat. And you can't go wrong with Girl Scout cookies. Dr. Allison Augustus Wallace is with the Girl Scouts Louisiana East. She is event co-chair. Uh, Dr. Wallace, thank you so much for being here. Most importantly, thank you for bringing all these wonderful cookies. When you see Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> 
you, you, every, everything, what, what can go wrong with Girl Scout Nothing cookies? Nothing can go wrong with Girl Scout cookies. So, so let me ask, were you a Girl Scout growing up? I was you not. You were not? I was okay. not, but I have been in my adult years as, as an adult member. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you do, as you've done enough with the Girl Scouts now that you probably know anything and everything you want to know. I know a lot. I've, I've been involved for 16 years. So let me, let me ask you this. We, we, we had a program where we talked about the Boy Scouts, uh, Girl Scouts. What, what's the, what is it about the Girl Scouts that's so important for uh, young women growing up? Our programs support the development of the girls' leadership skills, character building, um, the understanding of how to actually be better people and contribute positively to the yeah. world. Age limit is? The, actually the, the troops, troop age begins K through 12. K through 12, okay, all right. Is there another organization past Girl Scouts, or is, is that sort of the They end? have the opportunity to actually join as adults. Oh, great, okay. All right, so let's do this. Uh, the cookie drive takes place between January 15th and March the 13th. And yes. That's what we see here. Yes. Cookie, it's a fundraiser. Uh, yes, that is one of our fundraising opportunities. And again, it's going, all the funds go to the support programs that we actually um, provide for the girls. And, and you see uh, Girl Scout cookies are set up in places and they do door to door. So, the, I mean, the key thing is you're buying a product, but you're also doing... You're supporting the girls. ...important work for yes. the Girl Scouts. Because, I mean, with all the stuff you guys do, you have to have money to do that with. It's exactly. only natural. Uh, you are the co-chairman for the Cookies and Cocktails Excellent. program. So, yes. uh, I like that word cocktails a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit more with the cookies. So, talk, talk about cookies and cocktails. Well, it is an adult gala. So it's a fundraising event for us to, again, support the girls and the programs that we provide. And specifically, it will be taking place at Generations Hall, mm -hmm. February 20th. Okay. We have a patron party that will be taking place at 6 p.m. until 7, and the gala to promptly begin at 7 p.m. To attend the patron party, it is $125. Wow, that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, that's that's with the $125 to attend the patron party as well as the gala. Oh, okay. The tickets to attend the patron party is $100. Okay. And uh, your website is uh, gsle.org. All information on uh, the cookies and cocktails can be found on that. Are, are tickets required for admission? For I mean, you don't have to do the patron party, and no, you can do just the other. You have the, the opportunity event. exactly. Okay. Yes, you're correct. Can you order tickets on uh, online? Yes. Okay. At the website. How many years have you been doing this now? This is our second year. Second year. Yes. Successful last year. Very successful. Girl Scouts, cookies, uh, great organization. Uh, just events like this are always wonderful. They're wrapping me up again. Dr. Wallace, thank you so much for taking time to be here. Most importantly, though, thank you for taking time to be a part of the Girl Scouts. A wonderful organization, and adults always make those programs so much better. So it takes time a lot, we know, and just appreciate all your work in doing that. Please continue to come back and tell yes. us how the Girl Scouts are doing. We have a couple more guests. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Very happy to have Cheryl Lemoyne with us. She is with Renaissance Publishing. And you guys have a big event coming up, Tops of the Town. We do. What an intriguing name, first yeah. of all. Yeah. So talk about Tops of the Town and uh, what that's all about. Sure. So we do a reader's poll, which we call Tops of the Town, and we ask our readers to determine their favorite places to eat, their favorite athletes, their favorite sort all sorts of things across the city. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of a celebration honoring all of the winners. So the winners came out in our January issue, and then we have this event coming up in February. And I mean, are you honoring, are you recognizing the winners at the event? Is that? There's really too many of them because there's over 100 categories. Holy cow. So we'll actually, um, really it's just a celebration yeah. around the whole thing. We do invite some of the winning restaurants in to come and serve a signature dish and that, that sort of thing. But uh, this year it's going to be extra special because it's the 50th anniversary of New Orleans Magazine. Oh, wow. So we're kind of combining the two events into one really big fun blowout party. Uh, February 24th. Correct. Uh, from... 
se uh, 7 to 10 p.m. Is there an admission price? Yeah, it's $50 in advance. Okay. That includes food from about 20 or so restaurants. Uh, Abita Beers come on as our beer sponsor. We'll also have a wine sponsor and we'll have cocktails as well. And then we've got lots of entertainment. And it's at Generations Hall, so yes. there's, there's plenty of room, plenty of room. to host everybody. Yeah. And, and you said that you do have some of the winners from the survey. They come in Correct. And, and serve some of the food, yes. stuff like that. Yes, we have, uh, for example, Katie's Restaurant, one best neighborhood restaurant, so they'll be there serving. Uh, Vega Tapas Cafe comes in and serves uh, just about 20 or so, like I said, wow. top restaurants uh, around town. Website, MyNewOrleans.com. MyNewOrleans.com. All the information can be found All on, the information on the website is there, with that. Yeah, and uh, we have Robin Barnes performing. Mm -hmm. She was named the favorite singer in town by our readers. So we have her opening. Then we have the Yacht Pack playing. Yeah. And this year, because the uh, 50th anniversary, we're going to do a 50s theme. Oh, my So gosh. we'll also have all kind of fun entertain entertainers and um, sort of impersonators from the 50s That's generation. Awesome. So That's awesome. Many, how many years have you been doing this? This is about our third year third doing year? it. So mm, it's, it's a pretty new event. Something but, that kind of catches on every yeah, year and gets a little bit bigger and bigger? We get about 600 to 800 people at this wow. one. So it's a really good, fun Have event. you always done it at Generations Hall? No, we've moved it around the last couple years so this is our first time at Generations yeah, Hall. I, I've been to a, I mean I've been to a lot of it. It's mm -hmm. a great place. It's fabulous. Uh, to host events so I know it's, I know you'll have bad. a lot of success with that. Now did you say that that the, uh, the 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 survey that you do is that information is it already out or it's yes. in the January edition? Yeah that's available in the January issue and it's also on our website on my new yeah, And I gotta tell you I'm, I'm very familiar with that because you find a lot of good information on there yep. about uh, mm -hmm. little surprising things that you didn't know because I gotta admit several of the restaurants that pop up on that. I actually go to them because you're always wondering what makes somebody vote for this mm -hmm. and vote for that. Exactly. So, well, that's interesting. Some things are not so surprising. No. Uh, Drew Brees is always the top athlete <laughs> yeah. and those types of things. Yeah, my but, name's uh, never on that one. Well, we've been tr we're working yeah, on that. that we're trying to get you on that list. Um, <laughs> we did add one new category this year. We added our uh, best charity, a top charity. And uh, that's the SPCA came out um, oh, on the top. That's awesome. So we are donating a portion of the proceeds from the event. We'll go to the SPCA. Yeah, that's great. Well, that listen, that is awesome. And, and for your third time, uh, best of success with that. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time my to be pleasure. on the show. Congratulations again on the program, uh, Tops of the Town. And again, on the website, uh, MyNewOrleans.com, you can find all the information on there. We've got one more guest, uh, a surprise guest. You'll want to be here to see who that is. So stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we always save our best guests for last. Well, we did on the last show anyway. <laughs> we're we're, all, we're always, always happy to have Todd Murphy with us. Todd is the president of the Jefferson Chamber of Commerce and just does an incredible, he and his team do an incredible job with the Jefferson Thank you. Parent. You guys, Thank you me. really do. I mean, you, you've, you're at a level now that I can safely say you've never been at before. That's correct. Just a wonderful, wonderful job. You've got a great board. Uh, your team is phenomenal. So, Thank you. Uh, and that's, again, that's good news and bad news. Well, it, it is. <laughs> but again, I always say, Todd, because it's funny, because when we have Ben on the show and we have Jerry on the show, you guys, Michael and Stephen, you guys yeah. talk about yourselves as that's your success is right. each other. Absolutely. God, you've, I've been yeah. here 25 plus years now yeah. and you never heard things like that. So yeah, we, uh, we all work very closely. You really together. do. And that, that just benefits the entire yeah. Metro New Orleans the region. So I don't want to get into a lot about the chamber because we talk about that a lot. And I know sure. you'll be on the show 50 more sure. times and we can talk about the chamber. But let's, so. yeah, let's talk about the gala that comes up on March 11th. That's a huge sure. event for you guys. Well, you know, we're, we're funded by member dues and by events. And this is our signature event, the biggest one that we do of the year. And of course, we found the biggest place in Jefferson Parish to do it. It's a Saints training facility. It's a 100-yard football field under roof. Same exact turf that's at the Superdome, but it's on Airline Drive. Um, we, uh, we have this on March the 11th, and um, it is just a wonderful event. This year we've got the Brassaholics playing, which is a great band. It's a great uh, jazzy brass mm -hmm. band, but they play a lot of songs that you know that you want to sing along to and dance to, uh, a lot of cover music, mm -hmm. and uh, you know just a lot of great hit songs. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, We've had, we'll have the entire event catered, um, open bars, uh, casino gambling, silent auction, uh, black tie optional, and, uh, and, and really just brings the community together. Yeah. We, we, we're expecting over 1,000 people this year. And, and Todd, the key thing is, too, uh, 
while you are a membership organization, th this, I mean, you don't really have to be a member of the chamber to not come to this event. Not for this event. Uh, the tickets are $100. On February the 19th, they'll go up to 125 mm -hmm. But it, the, the tickets are open to anybody. We want people to come out and meet people that live and work in Absolutely. the community and, and have a good time. I think time. the thing that you do a great job of this event on, too, is you're not, quote, driving membership either. Yeah. It's, not, it's yeah. not what it's about. It's right. just about the chamber. We're here. We support the community. Yep. We want the community to come out. And, uh, it, it, again, you're not driving membership. So no, we're, we're I, celebrating I, say that, our I say that because I don't want somebody to watch and go, oh, yeah, well, they just want people to come out and they right. solicit. The, it's not. No. It's not that at all. It's, a, no. it's just a big Jefferson Parish party. I love the fact that it's at the Saints training facility. Right. Uh, how many right. times you get a chance to go in there? Well, exactly. That's, Hardly that's, ever. That's a novelty. And, you know, of course, we'll have the Super Bowl trophy out there on display. And there are some VIP tickets available. We're going to have a party, a VIP party before from mm -hmm. 630 to 730. And the events from 730 to 11. Talk, uh, website, jeffersonchamber.org. All Correct. information on the gala can be found. Can you order tickets online? Sure can. can? Jeffersonchamber.org. Everything's there. And, I mean, there's not a chance that it will sell out. I mean, it, I mean the facility's I, too big. I yeah. mean, we, we'd love to get to that problem, but, um, but the facility is just so large. I mean, it's a hundred yard football field. Yeah. So it's uh, massive. It's massive. And we, we totally transform it into a, just a great party. Yeah. And we have a lot of people that come out in groups. They'll buy uh, multiple tickets. You can buy packages of 10. Uh, last year we had somebody buy 40 tickets and have a birthday party there. So oh, that's great. Lots of fun things yeah. we can do. Yeah. You can almost, with the size of that facility, you can almost do uh, whatever you want to do. They're, they're wrapping me up. But Todd, again, congratulations. 2015 was just an incredible year for you guys. Uh, I look forward was. to 2016 uh, being incredible. You'll always love having you on the show. I kid you, you a lot, but we always Thank love you. having no, you on I appreciate the show. It. Please continue to come back. You guys are the, the one of the drivers of Jefferson Parish, so we always love to hear what's going on. You've been watching Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer. Thank you for being with us, and Todd and I'll see you next time.